Hey and welcome. This should be the last tutorial of the of this sphere, but certainly not the last of the BFX material series. So, um, well, in the previous video we made uh, this hollow material, remember? And uh, we are about to test it. So, let's go to our folder, right click, particle system. P, uh, Wisp, and we enter it. Um, first thing is, we're going to put this on our blueprint. Uh, not here, but here. Okay, here. Touch. There we go. So now it is a part of our blueprint. And uh, let's compile it. First, let's take off the velocity, because we don't need it at all. Now, let's hook the material. So, browse, and we did select it. Click on the arrow. And uh, let's make it have lifetime, maybe four seconds. And on the required, we want the, emit the emitter to, be to live for four seconds too. All right, so we need to, on the spawn rate, zero. We need to make it a burst. There we go. At least for four seconds, then it goes away. Okay, perfect. We can kind of see it. And this is what, what I was telling you before, right? If you, and this is right on the middle of the, of the sphere. If you have something in the middle and this is going to be big, it's going to overlap. Let's make this constant, perhaps 100. Yes, that's too much. This is going to be fairly simple, fairly quickly too. You can kind of see, well, this is exactly what I told. If, if, if it isn't hollow, then the insides are going to be messed up. So let's actually make this smaller. This is too big. Maybe 60. This size looks about right, but we we have some intersections in the middle. So we need to go back to the material and make this hole a little bit bigger. So radius maybe three. We are testing it together anyway. Let's see. Yeah, this is looking better. All right, so we want to make this one, and let's raise this. We want it to rotate slightly towards the left or the right, any of those two. So first we put an initial rotation. So whenever it spawns, it is randomly. It is uh, on a random rotation. And we also want a rotation rate. But this one, we want to limit it to 0 to 0.1, or actually even less, 0 0.6, 0 0.3, okay, 0 0.3. And we want to duplicate this, and this one needs to be minus 0 0.3. So there are two on different locations. So, so far we have this, and uh, we need to have a way to distinguish them. So let's make this square, both of them. I should have done this before, but well, both of them squared and nothing is going to show because we don't have any size on, on Y. Maybe this one has Y on 50. That's that, that may be too much. Five. And this one, well, since they are Always on random locations. This, this this shouldn't be a problem, really. Okay. So it is it is taking shape. Now we need to uh, we we needed to to slowly grow away. So size size by life. You hold shift, left click and drag it. So you share it. And then uh, perhaps this is. 0 0.8, 0 0.8, 0 0.8, and this one is 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. Okay. 
so it it grows right mm. it's dying too fast i think either that or we need to hmm you can see the overlapping too much over here. Let me see. No, the size variation is too big of a deal. Maybe 58, 58. I don't want a huge variation. Yeah, this, I think this is fine. So we need to maybe 0 0.9, 0 0.9, 0 0.9 and perhaps 0.2 and since they are being shared I only need to modify one right this is way too big so maybe one four one four and one four okay what I'm seeing right here is that uh, we need some kind of well first first we need to modify the color and then uh Let's see. So on one it's going to be black or it's going to fade out. And that is way smoother. But also I want this start not to just appear. So we click on the plus. Oh, it's not here. I, I control C on that one. So insert. Ah, perfect. We want this to be 0.1 and on 0 it is black. This way it, it spawns, it should spawn smoother. Let's see. Either that or, or we modify the, the opacity. Let's share the color too and erase this. Let's go down to the opacity, alpha over life, and let's do the same thing. So we add another one. And on point one, it is one, but on zero, it is zero. Now you can see how it spawns. It, it, it is way more softer, way more organic. Hmm. Okay, this isn't looking bad, but there is something missing for sure. There is something missing. And Hmm. Let me think. Maybe we need to. I don't like how when this expands, it remains a circle. So we need more black areas. Perhaps if we go back to the material. And of course, we should have uh, created a material instance for this. So. We go back to the content browser, right click, material instance, and we enter. First of all, let's hook it here, instance and instance. And now let's modify it a little bit. So the colors are fine, of course, we need to modify this. Perhaps the powers are too strong. Let's see. Let's just test five and five, see how that dissipates. Yeah, I'm not liking it too much at least. Maybe one on one and make this smoother. Okay, so power isn't helping us at all on this material. Let's see. This is looking better. It's softer. Maybe it just needed to be softer, perhaps. Or maybe we need uh, more emissive areas. We are going to explore it together. But first, I think that we need one more emitter here. Duplicate it. But this one does not die. This one remains here. So we want the duration to be set to zero. And we want this kill on completed and deactivate 
So this one is going to stay always. Let's see. All right, and this one, of course, cannot have. So if your particle is living forever, at least on the on the cascade, you need it to be spawning color instantly. If you have zero, it's going to be stuck on zero. So on zero, it is white. And the alpha also, we erase this. And make it so on zero, it is one. And now you can see it, right? Before we had the alpha that on, on zero, zero is when it starts, one is when it ends. On zero, it is zero, so nothing spawns. And since it is uh, um, eternal particle, it stays on zero. I hope that's clear. <laughs> I think I made it too complex. So we have this one spinning around. Okay. Size is not going to work because it, it this particle has no lifetime. Okay, this is the one that spins forever. I want stronger highlights though. Let's think how we can make that happen. Uh, let's just add them over here. Oh, okay. Let's add them, refresh. Let's uh, make it have a different color because r right now it's just mixing with everything. Let's make it... Uh... I don't think we'll be able to change it since we already have set colors. Okay, so there are some things that we need to correct. So um, first of all, let's go back to our material. We have this node that is telling you uh, that the that a particle system is going to control the colors and the alpha of this material. But at the same time, you also have these colors, right? So there is some kind of a malfunction between this 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 tree, and this should not happen. If you're not planning to put this on a, on a particle system. It's fine that you don't have this particle color and that you remain with this. For example, you have your, your blueprint here. This uh, this wisp, right? Or this core, you're not putting them on a particle system. So it is fine if if uh, if you only have colors. But this particle system wisp, it really needs this this particle color emitter. So we need to raise this. And since this is multiplying nothing. Just hook it directly and erase it. All right, and click on apply. Now we go back to, and you see that it is white and it is very soft because we don't have any color anymore. Now you can put it on any color that you want though. So we need, we need something flashy, right? Five, 15. A15. And even so it is it is way too faint. We'll need to crank up the numbers by a lot. But first, this one. So on zero. Let's do this again. 15 in red. This one never changes. Nope, it, it never does. But we need something more red. How faint it is. Mm, perhaps we want something with more power. So if we want something more with more power, we can just put two here. Ten. <laughs> that's that's not nice. So two. Okay, that's looking nice. Now let's work on the on the other ones. So we and preview this one. For this or two, again, I feel like we are lacking. We are lacking the the white area. So I want to see what's going on between these two materials. What is happening that uh, is not allowing us to to control this? 
So let's try just power, power and three. Okay, let's make it have a deeper color. Well, the power did help. I can already see a lot more, uh, a lot more uh, black zones. What if we increase the size of the light? I know that we did it before, but let's just test some waters. It's working now. <laughs> Maybe you can make it a little bit bigger. Four. This is amazing. Okay, it's working really well. So let's restart it. Let's change the color. Okay, there are, there are two things that I can see here. Both of the wisps are disappearing at the same time. We don't want that. So what if we make this one be delayed by just a little bit? So delay, let's say one. Let's see how that goes. That is way smoother. Now they, I think they overlap perfectly. This is really nice. This is nice. Now perhaps we just need to change the color. What if we make this a little bit more orange so we can tell the difference? Yep, I think, I think we're done. We have the reflections, the USP material. You could also add some sparks to this, but I think this is looking really nice. Um, so let's see, we have the material and the, the VFX here, perhaps just a color tweak. Well, obviously not this one, but I like this one. Okay. Um, let me see. We cannot modify anything else on the hollow. Everything is flowing nicely. I think this is it, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it, that you learned. Uh, although there are many things that you can learn from, from these notes, um, but I hope that it is useful to you and maybe you can use it on your projects, I don't know. <laughs> but at any rate, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Uh, let me know if you want any other kind of uh, VFX material and we can test it out. So thank you for, um, for watching. I'll see you in the next one.